Welcome back to my Let's Play for Dark Cloud 2. And it's time to return to the Moonflower Palace, but we're not actually going to be clearing the game today. No, no, we're going to be working on some grinding. Unfortunately, you know, it's just necessary, because I need to power up my weapons, you know, to make them serious threats. So we're going to be working on either um, the Supernova, or we'll be continuing to work on uh, Maka's armband. Because I've actually raised it up to um, Sun level, so it's getting close to its ultimate form. Um, it needs a few more upgrades to reach it. So yeah, we're going down the Lover's Path, which, you know, is probably not ideal, you know, because it's weaker overall than, you know, her other armband. But, you know, I like having health recovery, so I figured I'd go that route. I mean, I figure just any ultimate weapon will probably be enough to finish off the final boss in this game, you know? It doesn't have to be the greatest ultimate weapon, as long as it's of the class, so... That's what we're going with. And yeah, I've got a character equipped right now that, you know, ensures I always get Angel on these things. So, you know, hopefully I get the AB bonus, but, you know, if I don't get it, you know, whatever. I can work with or without it. Also provides another option for health recovery, I suppose, though. That's also kind of iffy. You never know what's going to happen. I have to admit, I do like having the Lamb Sword, though. Though, unfortunately, you know, I don't find them too often in here. I mean, they can pop up every now and again in a chest. Like, you'll open it up and, boom, Lamb Sword. Decent attack stat, you know, for fusing onto weapons, and it has, you know, an emphasis on Beast, which is also nice, because I do need that to upgrade certain equipment at the moment, so I will take it. But yeah, we'll probably upgrade the Supernova to a certain extent, maybe. Though I am starting to tap out on those, um, when it comes to elements, at least some of them. Which is nice, I guess. Like, I don't have to worry about that element anymore, I'm maxed out at 250. Though element types does seem a lot more important on the armbands, just because, you know, you're throwing around the strongest one you got. Hopefully, you know, if you max out, it doesn't really, um, worry about that and just hits them all, you know, equally, I can hope. But I doubt that's how it works. Well, let's see what we got down this way. It's why I usually pick this level. Well, it's one of the easier ones to clear, though. I suppose with our enhanced, um... Supernova, I could probably go after some other areas at this point. Maybe areas with um, stronger enemies that are actually worth a bit more. I just usually like this floor because you know, they're usually pretty easy targets to kill. And being able to quickly take care of them is definitely a plus. I think it's about time to replace the um, one armband on Monica with something else at this rate. I have to admit, I might want to make some night boots so I can throw more attack upgrades on them. Um, the stuff I got. I don't really have a lot of, um... I always do besides make night boots. But I don't know how much of the material I have on hands for making a ton of them. Ugh. Questions, questions. You know, because it takes raw materials to make night boots. Okay, did I get this one level 5? Yep. Okay... I think we'll focus on, um, Cyclone, or I guess we can go Chill. We can Spectrumize this and go, you know, 22 on it. Boom. And then throw those, like that on it, and then we can merge this with the Sun Amulet. Yeah, we're gonna work on that one next. Unless, you know, I got a lot of room for cold on this thing. No, I maxed out on cold, so that would be pointless. Okay, Spectrumize. Besides, I'm thinking more of throwing the um, Lamb Sword on, just because it has the higher attack stat, so feels like it'd be the better fit. Okay, that might max out our durability, to be honest. And it's probably going to max out the attack stat, too. Just based on the fact, you know, 150 usually is pretty much close to max for a weapon of that level. I need more fire and lightning, huh? Well, damn. Upgrading fire and lightning might be a bit tricky if that's not high enough. But I suppose I can convert these and see how much I got kit up there. I assume close to 150, though. What about these? Uh, more chill? Darn, I don't want chill right now. Well, it works. For now, I guess. 
I suppose I could technically get at least a thorn amulet somewhere, maybe. Wait, is that already level 5? Okay, let's see stats. Okay, we got plenty of free points. I can focus on... What else do you need? Um, lightning. Okay. Um... 20 points. Well, that's that. Maybe we'll use something weaker. But also has the same effect. No, I don't want flame. That'd also be flame. No, not that either. Okay, now where would I be if I was lightning? There we go. We'll go with poison, because we got plenty of piles of it. I mean, let's face it. When am I ever going to need that? Pretty much never. Okay. Let's spectrumize you. And then, you know, throw this onto this armband. Okay. So it can go up to 170 at least on that stuff. But, you know, am I going to be high enough you know, to like, get the flame count I need? Okay, status. Okay, I need more lightning still. Okay. I will put 10 points into this. This will let me upgrade to a higher level. I will do it. I mean, it'll get me close at least, right? Okay. Now I just need to get some points on it so I can actually, you know, afford to do the upgrades. Oh, wait. Wrong character. But, you know, that is a better weapon, so it does actually, you know, do have some effect on this guy. But, you know, that Sun Amulet's completely unleveled up, so I want to get a few levels on it, you know, before we, um, upgrade it. At least a couple, so it has a few points on it I can play with for next time. But that does mean the Lamb Sword's probably going to get slapped on our other friend, you know? Gotta work him over one at a time. Though I have to admit, I was expecting to get a bit further. I guess, you know, flipping through menus does eat up way more time than I'd like sometimes. Like, oh, you want to look at the menu? Like, that's going to take a while. I guess it's like looking at a menu at a restaurant or something, you know. you got to figure out how you want to best cook and prepare your meal, you know. Well, let's switch back over. And let, you know, Max gun some more suckers down. Now, let's see... Where would I be if I was a sucker? Doesn't look like there's any in here, though. We might have a Mimic, I suppose. I think we killed the only Mimic that can pop up. So I think there's only, like, one. I guess I'll take the Mellow Bananas. And I guess I'll throw this, because it's there. Ugh. I was hoping for more. Well, whatever. Just gotta continue our efforts to break things. And we almost got the slam sword in an upgrade position, so that's good. Now, what to upgrade on the lamb sword? I should have another one, so. We can replace that one with another one, right? Yeah. Status, 22 points. thought that was stronger for some reason. Does it get, like, weaker the more it levels up? Interesting. Huh. Yeah, I was looking at Sword of Zeus. Nope. Okay. 
have sworn there was one with way more respectful attack power around here. Well, whatever. I guess we can put point. Oh, it's the beast that I was mostly impressed by. Well, we can continue to dump points and other stuff, I suppose. Or we can just push it further down the beast path, I guess. Like, you know, if you're gonna make a beastly weapon, you might as well just make it go all in, right? Well, I'm guessing we're gonna hit the stat cap on this. Yeah, we can only go up 40 more points, so I only got, you know, 20 synthesis points worth of work out of that. Okay. Well, I'll maximize out our beast stat, which is fine by me. We need to work on the flame stat, though. Oh, well, for another time, right? At least this way, you know, we're closer to what I want. In terms of offensive punch. Oh, damn, I one-shot it. Well... That was impressive. Don't mess with Max. He's got the deadliest gun now. Oh, we can still go higher. The max attack cap on this thing's 500, so I want to get at least close to that before you know we take on the final boss. So I can basically blow him away with my gun rather effortlessly if I can get away with it. Come on, give me something cool. I was hoping for a sword, to be honest. That's far more necessary right now than, you know, anything else. I mean, I can work with this other stuff. It's just not what I wanted. Okay. Oh, I want you guys. Come on, that's not even particularly threatening. Wish I could push the durability up a bit higher, though. Well, apparently it's not feasible. Darn, I forgot. We can one-shot now. Like, I keep trying to, you know, do multiple button pushes, and it's no good. If only we could run faster. There's not even potions for that in this game. I'm guessing this leads to, like, a dead end. Because, let's face it, there's not very far you can go down here. There's not even treasure over here. You disappoint me, game. I was at least hoping for some loot. I mean, come on. You gotta do better than that. Well, at least I can go buy some more, um, armbands here in a little bit. That's gonna be nice. because you know, we got the money. You know, having, uh, money increasers on the, um, Supernova's definitely hoping with how many enemies we've been killing. So I can, you know, better afford replacing all the stuff I've wasted. Well, at least weapon-wise. That's good, you know, because I hate losing out. That seems kind of pointless. Well, we missed a chest, I guess. No, that's a red dot, ain't it? Gosh darn it. Well, screw it. As long as I got the key, it doesn't matter. I can always just warp out of here. Let's see. There it is. Okay. Like, yeah, I'm not backtracking that far to kill one enemy. It's just not worth it. I mean, if it was five or six enemies, yeah, I could see myself maybe doing it, but... One? Eh, forget it. Okay, let's see how we do on Final Battle now with our upgraded gun. I'm hoping this can now make quick work of most of the enemies and I don't have to feel bad anymore about myself. Be like, yeah, I got a supernova and it completely kicks everyone's butt. Jeez, even with a powerful supernova, that still took longer than I thought it would. But, you know, whatever. I mean, it happens. Oh, damn. That dragon went down in a hurry. 
I honestly am surprised. I didn't think it was going to be that good at killing dragons. Well, it's not very good at killing evil either. I mean, at least we can do it. Faster than we used to, but that still is way more shots than I appreciate. I might stick to the area I was in at this rate, just because, you know, it's more convenient overall. Though I admit, killing dragons in a couple hits is nice. Okay. Darn it. Got a bit sloppy there. Probably shouldn't have gotten so close to the robot. That thing is surprisingly fast, after all. I was kind of asking for it. I love how the dragons fall in two shots. Even from pretty far away. That just says a lot about my power at this point, don't it? Well, now. Let's open her up. Uh, some bombs. I don't even have room for bombs. Anything useful? Rough rock? Uh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Can you do something besides walk towards me like an idiot? Yeah, I don't want to be judgmental, but walking towards your enemy while they're shooting at you is probably not your best option. I mean, let's face it, while you're slowly walking forward, I'm going to be taking pot shots at you, like left, right, and center. Okay, I just want to push up one more level on the armlet, then I'll upgrade it. It's very time consuming to get levels on this thing, man. Um, can I get something cool? Like, um, some free money, maybe? Well, that helps too. Thank you, gun. After all, storm of weapon hit points is pretty damn useful. Especially on the gun, I don't like having to pay for that. And it does come up some of you have to do quite a bit. Okay, let's go, um, grab this thing's dead. Balls. Doesn't seem to drop very many of them, though. Um, let's see. Oh, we found a King Mimic. Great. On all, though, it's probably not going to take many hits. I mean, we smashed through um, Mimics pretty easily with Max's current gun. Oh, both of them were King Mimics? Oh, come on! Really? Really? Right next to each other? I'm calling shenanigans on that. Total shenanigans. <sighs> well, let's switch characters back. Darn, just a little bit more. So close, but denied. Okay, hopefully this isn't another King Mimic, right? I had enough of those for a little bit. Sticky Clay, eh? Well, that might come in handy. And if not, I can always find some other alternative use for it, I'm sure. Um, let's see... I don't think we've seen the key yet. Ooh, we found a Claymore! Well, I guess I got more reason to spend time on this floor. A9 attack, Lost Smash, and Beast Power. I like it. Like it quite a bit. And they can be found in regular chests, too. I suppose that's also true with the lamb swords. I mean, that previous floor I was on, you can find those on occasion, but if I can reliably find claymores here, they would be a good weapon to farm for raising attacks to it. That's already pretty naturally high. And that is important, because, you know, the main thing holding me back at this point is gunpowder. 
I need more power. Okay, let's build you up into a Mobius Bangle. Which I think will give us improved durability, actually. Yeah. Which we can turn to the lover by raising B smash and scale, which... Let's see. This thing improves tremendously, except the scale part, but hey. Can't all be perfect. But I do have weapons that can do that, so... Yeah. Uh, I will probably be farming this floor more. Just for more, um... Scale power. Okay, we get this um, sword up to the right level. Yep. Um, let's see. I can push its beast up higher. I don't know if I feel like going that route. We could also... Wait, how does this thing get so much attack power? That seems a bit crazy. Like, how did it jump up to that? Is that showing what happens when they synthesize it? No. Damn, like, this thing quickly gains attack strength. Well, let's, um... Screw off its other stats, though maybe I'll lose it when I unequip it, because that seemed to happen last time, too. Like, it's really high, and all of a sudden, bam, really weak. Um, let's see, rolling logs. I want 22 of those. Where are you at, rolling logs? Or can this do smash? Nope. Um, chill, I don't want that. I mean, I'm maxed out on it. Exorcism, don't care about that either. Nope, can't raise my durability anymore on that weapon. Okay, there we go. No, it's Cyclone. Lots of bundle of hay. I'm looking for logs. Okay, there we go. Just right. Frog, I need to stock up on more of these. So, if you upgrade, it loses attack strength. Apparently. Or it didn't. Okay. Um, equip. Yeah, its attack went down quite a bit when I unequipped it. Like, I have default attack stat or something that's raising it up. Whatever. Let's spectrumize this sucker. And, um, throw it on here. Up to 312, huh? That'll basically max us out on smash attacks. Cool. That just basically leaves, um... Well... Flame to work on. Cool, we're getting close to maxing this thing out. At least on quite a few stats, I like that. Okay... I guess I'll leave that on for now. After all, I want to raise the claymore up to take advantage of its improved attack strength. I don't think I got the key yet, do I? Well, that was a bit better. I still need more, though. I always want more. So, is this supposed to be another mimic? Because. I don't know where I could have missed an enemy at this point. Oh, there's another path up. Of course. Okay. Let's see what's down here. Yeah, we don't have the pot yet. I know we're not going to make our time goals. We spent too much time playing around the menu. But, you know, playing around the menu is quite helpful at this point. Now let's see, what's over this way? Ah, an enemy I don't like. Why don't you do a long range attack? I know you guys have those. Like seriously, they can swing their blades and launch shockwaves. Why wouldn't you do that? Why keep just slowly doing that walk thing? That only seems to you exist to help me out. 
I was hoping for another sword, though. Well, damn. Almost 1,500 points of damage, huh? Well, I guess the other chests are safe, because that means we cleared all monsters. Oh, sure, the last one has it. Like always. And that's useless, because we already basically explored the map. And that's a magic crystal. Okay, so the most useless chest for both in this room. Nice. Well, let's move outside and leave this place for now. I'm probably going to want to stock up on some more um, bangles before I start doing the next recording. I'm not as worried about swords, though it suppose it depends on what we can buy. Till next time, then. See ya.